Today in my newsfeed I read this article and the journalist states Geneva is the capital of Switzerland. Geneva is not the capital of Switzerland. So here is a new edition of Quick Clips. Ora and welcome to Quick Clips. I'm Andy Benzonelli. If you like this show, please don't hesitate to subscribe and also write a feedback in the comment section below. I also don't mind if you say hi on social media, Twitter or Instagram. In my four decades of life, I had the chance to travel in some really cool locations, but nothing compares to Switzerland and New Zealand. Here are geographical curiosity between Switzerland and New Zealand that you have to know if you visit one of these countries. In the pre-credit section, I've talked about Geneva. Geneva is the Frenchiest city in Switzerland, but a must-see if you are over there. Geneva Lake is the largest lake in Switzerland and it's shared with France. Did you know that Lake Geneva was one of the biggest training places for a lingi to be able to beat New Zealand in the America's Cup? If you like lakes and you come to New Zealand, then don't forget to go and see Lake Topo. Lake Topo is actually the caldera of Topo Volcano and it is the largest lake in New Zealand. I had the chance to see it pretty pretty close in 2009 when I went and decided to bungee jump in it. The scream is pretty spectacular. To note that the Lake Topo is the second largest lake in Oceania, being second only to Lake Murray in Papua New Guinea. Flowing through Lake Topo, the Waikato River is the longest river in New Zealand, 425 kilometers. One of my favorite places when I visited it were the Huya Falls, another massive place there. And if you like falls but you are on the other side of the world in Switzerland, you should go and see the Rhine Falls in Schaffhausen. Rhine being the longest river in Switzerland, flowing for 482 kilometers of its 1,230 total length in Switzerland, the Rhine is the 11th longest river on the European continent. In 2009, I went for the first time on the South Island in New Zealand. It is a complete different natural habitat than the North Island. And at that point, I realized how similar New Zealand and Switzerland are. If you prefer colder climates, then both nations offer two amazing glaciers. New Zealand has the Franz Josef Glacier, Karo Imata or Ine Ukatere. It is a 12 kilometers glacier and it's stunning to see. In Switzerland, you have the Alec Glacier, 23 kilometers length. To visit it, you take a little train at Interlaken and you go up towards the Jungfrau Joch. It is a stunning trip. Very expensive though, but the sights from over there are priceless. So if you go to Switzerland, this is an absolute must-see site. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you want to know more curiosity between Switzerland and New Zealand, please check out my previous video. It's all for today. Until then, goodbye!